the biggest legacy is not what we leave for people, but what we leave in people. So leaving some mark in society, in community, especially in your family, is the most important legacy that you can leave behind you. And today we have a special guest that will share her legacy and share her ways and journey how she made there and what impact she makes in our community here in Minneapolis. We have Miss Tanisha. She's a top model and she's a top model coach. Hi, Miss Tanisha, how are you today? Hello, thanks for having me. First of all, you look amazing. <laughs> I love your authenticity. I love how great you are. You're so confident about wo what you're Thank wearing. You. And that's what I love. Thank you so much. So share more about your vision. Why have you started this agency? What prompts you to go with that? Okay, so I'm originally from Tulsa, Oklahoma, okay? And being that it's Black History Month, I just want to share a little bit about it. So Tulsa, Oklahoma is where Black Wall Street was. And unfortunately, years ago, many, many years ago, about 100 years ago, um, it was burned down to the ground. And our anniversary for that was last year in 2022. And so it kind of resurfaced for the world to take notice about Black Wall Street. And being in Tulsa, Oklahoma, there wasn't much opportunity for a little black girl. There just wasn't in fashion in the Mali industry. And so I said, what can I do to change that, right? So I did all of my research, all of my homework, you know, in the yellow, in the yellow pages. Back then we had the yellow pages, right? So I'm looking to try to find agencies and how to get started. And when I came across um, the agency, Linda Lehman, you know, um, that was the agency, the one agency in my hometown, how to get started. So I went to her and she said, oh, you have potential. It's not a lot of work here, but we can help you get started. And so I started doing charity fashion shows. And that's what I teach to this day. I tell my models, give back, give back to the community. So you don't get paid right away because you're brand new. It's a learning experience, you know? And so I did my charity fashion shows, met a few other new models in the industry. And then I said, you know what? I need to be in New York. I need to be in New York. I love this. And I did um, my you know, due diligence, my homework, and left my family behind in Tulsa, Oklahoma and moved to New York. You know what I love about people who do that? They create the vision and they're unapologetically, very courageous, just go with it. You didn't, you didn't just sit and dreamt about it. You put your action steps to get there. You went to research, right? The first thing you need yes. to do is put your first step to get to your dreams. That's yes. perfect. So today you are not just helping people you know, to look beautiful you also help them to, to find their identity yes. and you help to shape their self-confidence. So tell us a few things that you coach them on that. So at my modeling school, I own the Model Boutique and Company in Osseo, Minnesota. And we are really big believers on, like you said, self-confidence and branding because each individual is a brand of its own, unique, right? So we really teach about um, how are you gonna stand out? What's gonna work for you? You know, you don't have to be like someone else. Um, you don't have to walk like someone else or talk like someone else or dress like someone else. Every trend is not for you. Develop your own style, okay? So that's really big in our, um, at our school. The other big thing is teaching the uh, professionalism and the habits, the right professional habits, because when you um, don't really focus on the goal at ta you know, the task at hand, then you kinda don't take your career as serious. So we talk about skincare. We talk about healthy nutrition, okay? Because it's all body types. Yes. You don't have to try to be someone else's size. Own who you are and be unique, but be the best you that you can be, right? So we also go into the fitness aspect. We talk about if you don't have a membership to a gym, these are safe exercises that you can do right at home to stay healthy, to stay fit. When you're a model, we're under lights all the time. So, you know, you have to be, yes, you have yes. to have a little bit of strength, you know, you have to have a little bit of um, uh, endurance. OK, so that's what we teach primarily is uh, is kind of that self uh, care and developing of so your you image. Better. Yes, to, to be better, a better person. Um, I do want to revert back a little bit about um, my dreams. So I'm 19 years old, you know, talking about I'm going to go to New York. And I, at this point, has hit just about every dream that I put down. 
One was be on the Cosby Show, did that, check, okay? Work for Prince, the artist formerly known as, check. Just booked New York Fashion Week this past. Nice. Yes, just, I mean, just walked for the first time in my career. At 52, I'm 52 now. Yes, I tell my age. <laughs> um, so it also lets people know that even though I started at age, you know, I knew what I wanted to do at 12, 13. I wanted to be a model. Did my research, started, you know, pursuing it 15, 16 in my hometown. Moved to New York at 19. I'm 52, still booking shows, okay? Still working. So you can have longevity. Don't let this world tell you you cannot. Don't let it tell you, you know, you're too old or you're not the right size or you don't got it. You got it, baby. Trust me. <laughs> I absolutely love the boldness and I love the women that are having this hunger, this persevere, the, the determination to never give up. And I love what Coco Chanel says that the, the minute you, if you want to feel beautiful, you need to start being you. Absolutely. Unless you know who you are and, and the feeling that who you are. And for some people, it takes years to get to yes. this moment, to yes. feeling who you are. Some of the ladies are still fighting. Who am I? Am right. I a wife? Am I a kitchen wife? Am I the, who am I? I'm a mother. What am I? Who right. am I? And that's why they feel so defeated in yes. their career. And uh, you come home, they looks like the banks are good looking good, but inside of them is empty. Agreed. They are bankrupt as a women. Agreed. So we don't have this university that helps women to be self-confident. Right. And sometimes we do, go, uh, we do stand on the wrong scale right. of the social media, yes. right? And we measure ourselves with a, long, with a wrong scale as, as well, and it kills us inside. So I want you to take one minute or a moment and talk to the camera to this girl to this woman who is sitting right now and trying to find her voice what would you want to tell her let me tell you social media is not the answer a lot of falsified information is on social media it's just the truth I speak truth to my clients the top model coach which is myself I cannot sit there and tell my clients something that I don't believe in. What I tell them is if you want to work, if you want to be confident in who you are, then you look in the mirror and you do your acronyms and you say to yourself each and every day, I am valuable, okay? I am important. I am lovable and I am powerful. And most importantly, I am beautiful inside and out. Don't try to be no one else. Because social media, you cannot find it there. You cannot, you don't know the people on social media. Things are beautiful on the outside. And whatever, everything that shines is not gold, baby. Everything that shines is not gold. So just remember that you have so much value in being who you are. Self-worth is everything, okay? It's everything. Uh, since 1976, every president recognized February as a Black History Month. Yes. What legacy do you want to leave here on our community? The legacy I want to leave here is definitely um, that black is beautiful. Black is beautiful, and just because you are a person of color does not mean you cannot persevere, because you absolutely can. Look at the change in the world. Here I am sitting in a pair of boots by a black designer out of New York with gold bottoms, Ron Dice, D-Y-C-E, by the way, D-Y-C-E. And I would have never thought that I would be walking at 52 mm. in New York Fashion Week for a black designer, okay? So the color of your skin does not mean that you cannot succeed. Absolutely not. And that's a legacy. I want my children to know they can do anything, baby. Anything in this world. Remember, you were not born to tiptoe on the eggshell. You were born to stand out and walk proudly on a solid ground. This was Ilona from Ilona TV. Remember, this is the place where your story matters. Mm -hmm.